This is Edith May, a stunning 57-foot semi-traditional narrowboat. She was built in June 2015, so she's only two years old. I repeat, two years old, and she's been so well looked after in that time. She still looks and feels new, if I'm being honest. Um, the paintwork, it's not a very good day here, but the paintwork is absolutely sparkling. The uh, hull was built by Colden Narrowboats and she was fitted out very nicely indeed by Knight's Narrowboats. Edith May, she's a somewhat of a semi-reverse style, so you go down from the stern deck into the saloon. The engine is under the deck boards there, the B43, and the engine room is so clean I'd eat my dinner off it. I'd eat your dinner off it. Um, I think I can say I've never seen an engine room quite so clean. It's immaculate. The locker here to the on the port side of the boat. There's a bench seat on the other side with stowage room underneath, but not a sealed locker as such. So down into the boat, really nicely fitted out. It's oak face ply throughout, but painted to the ceilings and above the gunnels, which makes the boat feel really light. Floor is engineered oak throughout, and there's a good size L-shaped uh, sofa stroke couch here with a good drawer underneath it. Notice that crossword's not been finished. Opposite the couch is the media. There's a television there. There's a DVD player, FM, CD, Bluetooth, stereo. You can have PVR via USB sticks. It's all there. And to the left of the steps, you come down there, the electrical instruments all very neatly arranged. Good size locker here. Various bits of electrical gadgetry in there. And a good sized wet locker, I'll call it, on the right of the steps. Very practical for when you come in. Dripping wet. You get four people on that couch, it's, it's a good length. And there's one of the radiators on board, that's heated by a wood basto, fired off the diesel. And under the dinette, oh there's the crossword again, under the dinette. There are drawers under both sides and storage behind those. There's a side hatch opposite the dinette as well, which is glazed, but it has wooden panels to give you a bit of privacy. Same with the doors onto the well deck. They are glazed, but there are wooden panels which slot in there to keep out the dark, the cold. I mentioned that radiator is fired by the Webasto. It is, but there's also a very clever system the current owners have put in, which is basically a heat exchanger off the engine, which heats the central heating while you're motoring. It's really clever. So into the galley. Really nicely arranged, really practical. The cupboard here has plumbing, power and space for a washing machine. They haven't installed one, but it's there. The bank of four drawers next to it. And another good size cupboard under there, under the sink. And I love these. This is the carousel cupboard. All very neat, very practical. And perfect for storing Tetley and Rivita in. Opposite this worktop is the cooker. A quick look at the floor to ceiling larder cover before I turn around. There's the cooker. That's the Stowe's 500 DIT. Gas, full gas burner, oven and grill, all spotless. It's been cleaned very thoroughly by the owners inside as well as out. There's the fridge with an ice box at the top, 12 volts that is, shoreline. And there we go, that's the view from the end of the galley. Beautiful. On into the walkthrough bathroom. The loo is tucked nicely behind the door there. Lovely ceramic basin. It's a good size cupboard under that. We'll have a look in a minute. And a quadrant shower cube, good size there. There's the loo. Three cassettes come with it. 
ceramic basin. There's the cupboard. Lots of room in there. And a heated towel rail. Again, with Basto stroke engine. Behind the shower, there are three shelves and a little cupboard underneath in between the shower and the side of the boat. On into the bedroom. Six foot three by four foot double bed. Lots of storage underneath. Some good cupboard space over as well, actually. There we go. Very light in here, good size windows. Light paintwork helps with that. And a huge wardrobe here at the foot of the bed. Three and a half feet wide off the top of my head. There's actually a set of golf clubs in here. You wouldn't know it. That demonstrates the room. There's a useful shelf and little cupboard on the left of the steps as you exit. The well duct's lovely, really good condition cratch cover. There's a couple of rails that the owners have installed in here for drying clothes. That table collapses. Good lockers under the bench seats. And those doors, as I was saying, have wooden inserts as well to put over the glass panels. And there we go, stunning boat, Edith May. For further information, more photographs and a fully downloadable brochure, go to www.rugbyboats.co.uk.